Okay, so uh, in the last session, we had discussed the questions in comprehension section A2, A1 and A2. Uh, today, we are going to discuss A3, which are like usually long answer type questions. And then we will move to vocabulary section. Okay, so like uh, if you were the speaker who was traveling along the course of the brook, which are the places where you would want to spend the longest time? Well, that's an interesting question. Uh, you have seen the uh, course of the brook, right? Brook ki journey ka rasta apne dekh liya hai. Tab apko decide karna hai ki kaun si si jagah hai jahan par ki aap sabse zyada time spend karna chahenge. Ye to individually change ho sakta hai. Personally, you know, like um, I would, uh, I mean, I, I would prefer spending more time at Philip's farm where brook meets the river, right? Because uh, uh, you know like i mean the river i mean the brook has uh brook is very you know like excited and it has traveled uh, and it has passed through some really beautiful landscape before it meets the river uh but most of the other places with beautiful landscapes want to be very comfortable for a uh, human and hence like philip's farm would be the most uh, convenient one where i would have uh, on the one side the beauty of the brook and on the other hand also you know some comfort now next topic is uh, next thing is think about how the brook's journey is different in comparison to human life discuss well see like uh, brook's journey is in a way i mean brook's journey in a way mirrors the humans and also contrasts against it okay it mirrors the humans in the sense that you know like i mean brooks journey has various you know like uh ups and downs ebbs and flows right uh there are many obstacles along the way and uh, uh things that are encountered in the journey uh may you know like uh, continue or continue having their impact throughout the life in that way you can say that the brook and the human life is actually similar However, uh, the biggest dissimilarity or difference is that humans are mortal, right? We have a limited time span that we spend on this, you know, we have a yeah, limited time span that we spend on this earth. And in contrast, a brook has a uh, virtually eternal uh, existence as you know, that it just, you know, like keeps going on and going on. So, well, uh, that is how you can, you know, like respond to these two discussion based questions. Uh, I would say advise you in all the cases you know like after listening to the answer of one question you should you know pause the video there write that particular answer and then proceed further so that you know like you uh, I, I mean the ideas are fresh in your mind and you could uh, put them down better now let us move to the vocabulary section and in the vocabulary section we have to find words from the poem that indicate movement in the space that, that you know like indicate movement so like uh, we have got like six boxes here and we have you know like uh, put different in movement indicating words in these and further we have to categorize these words uh, on the basis of uh, fast and slow and then sudden and continuous so well that is one task that you have to do on your own fill in the blanks using appropriate words of movement okay uh, i will just do couple of it with you and then you will do the rest like she dashed her foot merrily uh, she tapped her foot she tapped her foot merrily uh, the river dashed and dashed into the sea uh, the river bends and flows into the sea right so well uh, you can do the rest I'm sure Next is alliteration that I had uh, told you about earlier while discussing the poem as well. In alliteration, what happens is that uh, two or more words in close proximity can have, uh, uh, have you know, like the same consonant sound or start with the same consonant sound. Jab aspas mein do ya do se jada words jo hai, wo same consonant sound se shuru hote hain, to it is called alliteration. Jise ki uh, 20 thorps ka use kiya gaya hai, sudden sally hai, fairy foreland hai. So, yes, you have alliteration ke examples. Okay? So, here you know, like you have to uh, find uh, alliterative words for these. So, for example, like a kind king. Okay. Uh, for lamp, what should I use? 
lighted lamp right uh, similarly you know like you can uh, find alliterative combination for the remaining of these words and well that is the end of the vocabulary section in the next lesson we are going to look into grammar portion so see you with that bye bye